Hello everyone. Today I'm gonna uh, show you uh, how easy it is to change the look of the bases. You can have and you can use the same base by, but by using different accent, you uh, may change the look of the base. In that case, it's gonna change absolutely, uh, totally this, the full centerpiece. I'm gonna start for something really easy that is um, covering the these cylinder bases with rhinestones. The rhinestones come in different colors. Uh, at this moment, I have uh, gold and pink, and I'm gonna use uh, the gold to show you how to do. You have to start by uh, measuring the 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 base so you're gonna wrap it up the whole piece and you're gonna mark it. you're gonna fold it in the place where you want to cut and you just to cut it and that's it i always when i cut i always make a little bit bigger just in case um the the size is not the right one so i have chance chance to fix it to fix it instead if i cut it short i will have no chance to to use the piece of um right some that i cut it so as you see this is uh, definitely bigger than the uh the base so what i have to do now is just cut again i'm gonna leave just one finger uh, room so I'm gonna cover from here to here, and that's it. Let me put it here. So, now I have to be very careful um respect this uh, line because that's the way that i want to have it i want to have this clear a uh, little portion on the top clear be careful this is really really hard uh, as i told you before your nails and your finger usually are gonna be are gonna get burned okay i have to wait until get dry or get uh, cold if not if i keep uh, turning this is gonna uh, get stuck and uh, <laughs> in my towel at this moment or whatever um, mat that you are gonna use then i'm gonna make a touch there and I, i'm gonna keep wrapping the the base Okay, almost done. If you wanna pull down, you can use your scissor so you are not gonna get burned. Yes. Okay, and this is it. Later, I want to show you a picture of uh, how this look on the, on the weddings, okay? The second idea that I want to show you today is a little bit more uh, sexy. And I have to tell you that I use this design for a Sweet 16 uh, party. Um, we will use uh, red satin ribbon. This is really wet. Um, I don't have hidden measure. Mm, but it probably is uh, like a five inch. Let me check. The second idea that I want to show you is a little bit more sexy. And I use this for a Sweet 16 table. I'm gonna put also the picture of the end of the tutorial. Um, I'm gonna use this satin ribbon, red satin ribbon, that is two and a half inch width. Yes, two and a half inch. And I, I'm gonna use this uh, black lace. This lace is stretching, it's just a little bit stretching, and that is good uh, for be working in this case. Also, I uh, will use the scissor. This um, T 
sticky dots in this case are no um, dots the, the brand is glue dot but I'm gonna use strips I don't know if you can see it there to um, to put the lace and I need some matches why I have to use this because I don't want this extreme of the ribbon start to peeling when I am working with uh, the bases on the flowers uh, when you have to do the delivery uh, it doesn't look very well probably uh, the photographer is going to take the picture and you will see it full of uh, red hair in this case uh, <laughs> in the table so the thing that you have to do very carefully let me put the, the box inside burn a little bit so you're gonna seal the end because this basically is, um, you're burning the end and uh, you are sealing okay just a little bit and that's it I had to take the measure as I told you in the example uh, previous example perfect so I'm gonna leave a little bit more I'm, I'm gonna cut it here And I will proceed to do the same that I did before with the match. Well, I already burned both extreme with the matches. And now I have to proceed to glue it on the base. Um, this is going to be exactly the same process that we did before with the rhinestones. So you are going to put just a drop to set the position it's gonna be like in the middle but I remember always that mostly this part is gonna have flowers so nobody's gonna is gonna come with the tape measure and see this really is set in the middle of the base and you're gonna start turning the base and put carefully a dot of glue in the center of the ribbon and be sure that you are gonna reach the other uh, extreme of the beginning of the the ribbon in the same level that is uh, really important okay keep adding keep gluing the ribbon straight and that's it you see both lines of both both uh, extreme of the uh, ribbon are exactly where they has to be i changed the angle of the camera because i thought this is going to be uh, easier and clearer for you now we have to use the um lace okay this lace as you see have a very clear pattern so we have to cut the lace thinking that we cannot cut the pattern because it's going to be very visible so what i try to say is we cannot put one lace over the other one we have to respect the design and we have to cut it where the uh, design is uh, complete. So I already cut it here. Let me see. Perfect. So I'm going to put just one drop, one little drop of glue because when it's cold, it's turned white. To keep it there and I'm going to keep wrap wrapping wrapping up the whole base oopsie sorry 
So we can use here another drop of glue, but I'm afraid that the that it's not gonna look nice. So I'm gonna use these glue uh, strips to hold the lace. And that's it. This is done. That's all that you have to do. Well, you have two ideas. You can pick whatever you want. Well, the last idea is uh, totally different because until now we were changing the look of the base by covering the outside um, the outside side of the base. Now I'm gonna use a different technique to cover the base from inside. It's a little bit more complicated. It's not complicated, it's easy to understand, but you have to uh, uh, be very um, carefully. So I have three ribbons. This is uh, nylon or plastic. Um, we use, uh, and the, in this business we use I love this uh, ribbon to cover the oasis. The first thing that I'm gonna do is take the measure of the ribbon. I'm gonna take it from outside, but when you put it inside, it's gonna be uh, really bigger. So if you're gonna mark here, cut smaller. Cut a little bit smaller. But you have to cut it really, really straight. And I'm gonna tell you why. Put on the side. When you are gonna wrap this and the and the and the base, you don't want to see lines like that. You have to see straight lines. So the next step is use. You have to use this U pin. It has uh, the shape of a U. That's why it's called U pin. You're gonna take your oasis, you're going to put in this way, take the U-pin and press a little bit, um, pour inside the oasis. Inside of the oasis, the U-pin is gonna push a little bit outside the two legs, so that's gonna help you to keep the, the ribbon in position. And now you have to wrap the oasis up and be sure that you are not are making a mess in these lanes that you have here. The next step that you have to do, the oasis is already wet. Put in the base carefully and Shake a little bit and allow the ribbon to open and cover all the base. Um, basically, we use the same base uh, and bring three different ideas by using different accents. Um, the base can change totally, totally the design of the centerpiece. And it can enhance uh, the, the flowers, um, it can enhance the full design. Thank you for watching my channel, and um, I'll be soon in the air. Thank you.